my life is a different one. I lost my parents at a tender age. I was alone and taken to the orphanage. But then, I wrote my way to the top. I am Enna Ugorji, an author, scratch that, a renowned Nigerian author, with the sweetest girl child, Ma, and a cheating husband, Olisa. Okay, so you must make sure before you put in traffic gate or you count like maybe 50 meters ahead of where you want to turn, then you must put traffic gate because the person behind you is yes. very important, okay? All right, Mr. Ago. Okay. Wow, I'm impressed. A short period of time, you do how to drive. This is impressive. Thank you, sir. And your composure. That's nice. So, maybe um, I will see tomorrow your certificate will be ready. You'll be officially become a driver. Okay, sir. What will be left for you now is to receive everything necessary. Okay? Okay, Mr. Abu. And, and I'm sure immediately Get your certificate tomorrow, you go and buy all this fast car. You'll be driving like speed and be moving everywhere like just born, right? <laughs> I think we can turn from here. All right, sir. Wow. This is impressive. I'm, I'm super proud of you. Thank Shut you. Short lot of time, you could achieve this. So. That's not how to pack next time. You don't over put your powers in the steering. You put it gradually before putting the packet. All right, Mr. Rago. Okay? Thanks for the lesson. No problem. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. All right, thank you, Mr. Rago. No problem.
How long have you been married? Twelve years. You have children? One. Cheating records and why? None. How long have you been facing these marital difficulties? Like a year now. Just like thousands of years. What are the problems you have in your marriage? <laughs> Where do I even start from? We barely talk anymore. And when we do, we just argue through it. He doesn't listen to me on anything. <laughs> listen to a broken record? You're kidding. Um, madam, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a certain relationship and at a point you feel you're fighting a lost battle, like, like... Don't even communicate. Allow me. See, he never talks to me about anything. He has just become so distant. Half the time I feel like I'm living with a total stranger. He just lives his life vicariously without any concerns about the future. Of what use? No, tell me! Of what use? Well, listen to what you want to hear. No, no, let, let, me, let me even ask you a question. Yes, we are before the counselor. When was the last time we did something impulsive? I'm talking impulses. You know, I like different things. I'm advent I like adventure. You know, my goals, ties, and you know, in fact, let, let me even say it out. You know, when was the last time we had sex in the kitchen, car, garden? Oh, listen. Allow me, allow me, allow me to talk. Allow me to talk. We came here for counseling. Can walk? Let me talk. You see this woman? Eh? She's a total prude. So local, so boring. Eh? Every time she'll be putting on this hair. She has carried this hair for almost a year. Dressing like a mom model, like an old woman. No sexy nightwear. Oh, hey, allow me. Let, let me talk. Let me pour out my heart. Eh? Every time she will be reading and writing. Are you the only author in this country? You'll be making love to your wife. She will lie like a log of wood. No. Mm -hmm. No, uh -huh. no, no sexy ringtone that will ginger motivate a man to bang and bang like you feel like banging all day, all night, all year. No interesting thing. So boring. Well, so first of all, <gasps> I feel very insulted that you're making our sex life an open book. No, 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 allow me to make it public. Oh. Huh? Second of all, sex is no food. And even if it was, I mean, the kitchen towels are cold. And by the time you're done, I have body pains, you know, my shoulders are hurting, my head is hurting, chest pains, everything. I can't focus on work, I can't be productive, I can't even achieve anything. For crying out loud, sex is not food. Sex is food. Sex is food to my soul. Give it to me. Give it to me, it's very, very essential to me as a man. After a long day, when I return to my house, I deserve a juicy, Warm and sexy something to stimulate me and calm down my stress and make me feel like a man I am. Oh, eh? I get it. Is that why you're cheating on me with that queen girl? What are you talking about? Because I refuse to conform to your weird Kama Sutra fantasies. Is that it? Oh, it all makes sense now. <laughs> that queen girl is the one giving you the Mm, giving you the ah, oh my god, right? Do you guys do anything else? Do you guys even try to achieve anything in life? Like, do you have dreams? Do you have purpose? Is that all you do all day? Do you think that this is your purpose in life just to come to this world and have sex on God's green earth? 
of all the productive things you could be doing, you to just have sex? I'm so disgusted. Oh, Lisa, have you even, have you ever heard of the word purpose? Have I heard of the word purpose? When you don't even know the purpose of being married. What is the purpose of being married? Look, if you're going to tell me that the purpose is sex, then I'll gladly tell you that sex is basically for procreation. Oh, you, you see? Okay, I can't spend all my time <laughs> just, just doing all that nasty stuff. I, I mean, I'd rather be you. reading, writing, doing so something. Prude. You are so prude and boring. Imagine, sex is part of marriage. Very, very essential. Nonsense. Anything huh. you want to bait. Absolutely nothing, ma'am. No. Nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to blot out everything here and now. Tell us why you're cheating, dear husband. Tell us. If not for me, at least for our daughter, for Ma, for your beloved daughter. Tell us. Do you realize you just accused me wrongly? Do you have a proof to that? Do you? <laughs> I like that we're talking about proofs. How about the nude pictures on your phone? Who sent them? Your guardian angel? Or your alter ego? A robot? Who? <laughs> and all the weird places that you hide condoms. From your fall tank to your glove compartment to under your cases to your pigeonholes in your car. And all the receipts of transactions of money you sent to her week in, week out. Is that how you pay for your, mm -hmm, ah, oh my God. Is that how you pay for it? Is that how you pay for your Slay Queen vibes? If Shameless was a person, to be you, Olisa. Are, are, are you all right? Are you okay? You insult me. You, you see what I'm saying? All she does is insult me, dehumanize me. And that's so wrong. I am done with the sham of a marriage. Nonsense! No, we're going to talk about it. We are not talking about anything. We are not talking about anything. Talk with you. Just in the nigga time, I see an angel sent for me. Nonsense, what's wrong with you? You're going what nowhere. Is wrong with you? You're going nowhere without me, on the sun. I am going. You're not going anywhere. Am... You're not going home with me. I am going home alone. I'm done with this marriage. <laughs> Olisa, 12 whole years, and this is what you're saying. You're such a neat week. Oh, that's all you know how to do. What insult you your husband. For? Yes, you've been insulting me, dehumanizing me, humiliating me. Oh, I so am done with this all marriage. This time you think I'm a dumping ground for all of your mess? I'm not going to take that from you, Lisa. There's nothing you're going to do about it. I'm I am going, going to do something about it, and that's the end of this marriage. Respect uh, yourself. I'm done with this marriage. What kind of man are you, no, Lisa? <laughs> Okay. Go anywhere! Okay, please, just come. We can't I will kill you! I will kill you! you.
in the wilderness but I can't believe you found me no 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 <laughs> trapped in your tenderness loving this feeling that you bring oh, I love What took you so long? Your wife, right? The stupid woman is a professional nag. Looking for possible means to rob me in the mall with her. Mm. Oh, just. How did it go at the marriage counselor's office? She turned into a lioness. Bearing everything. To what end? Can you imagine? She wanted to make you look like the devil's neighbor. <laughs> that your wife is so troublesome. Foolish woman. She got what she deserved. Mm. Babe. Oh. I hope you didn't hit her. For what? I ended it all. I told her to her face, I am done with you and that sham of a marriage. And that's it. You must be kidding me, babe. We are not kidding. It is you and I forever. Yes. You know, I promised you that I will always make you happy. Yes, you did. If we eventually end up together. Mm-hmm. I am not going back from my words. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, baby. Um, um, babe, I ordered some seafood. It will soon be here. Okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. It's all my queen mm -hmm. and my unborn child for now. Yes. Until you're out. <laughs> for now, it's all about my queen, my baby. <laughs> We used to be a happy family. A small, beautiful, young, happy family. I don't know where it all went wrong. It just, it just became different person. He became this angry person. He complained about everything I did. From my dressing 
to the sex. To food. To how much time I spent working. We were once a happy family. Small, beautiful, young, happy family. I don't know where it all went wrong. He just became a different person. He became this angry person. He complained about everything. Everything I did was wrong. From my dressing to the sex to food to how much time I spent working everything Gracie do you know how I felt when I when I realized that the problem was sex I tried. I went out of my comfort zone. I tried to keep my family together. But you know what I got in return? Cheating. Lies. Deceit. This man called me frigid. He called me frigid. And the problem was sex. And the worst part is he doesn't even communicate. He could have just told me. If that was the problem, I could have done all I could to make it right, but he kept quiet. And all he does is try to change me. It's okay. It's okay, Anna. Just give yourself time and you recover. Stop pinning over him. I'm sure having to walk through this issue rather than running away from it, it's more emotionally healthy at the long run. Gracie, what about my child? What about Ma? This is very unfair to her. She's going to suffer it the most. And she's a very emotional child. Uma will survive. She's not a baby. Anna, I need you to take your life and future in your hand. Including hers. She's all you've got now. I, I feel like I've lost every sense of self. Oh. I don't even know who I am anymore. No, oh, don't say that. Don't be too hard on yourself. Everything happens for a reason. God will not allow you go through this pain unless he has something more for you in future. You'll 
be fine. Okay. I have to keep this. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa salam. Usman? Hmm, hmm, manye manye kena, see levels. Ya ake ni? Flap ya no? Ya ake tiki. What are you doing here? Ah, I like. Mama chiti chen zon duba. Wadi ha honga don't kill you already. As you can see, I'm fine. But the place is nice now. Thank you. So go back and tell your mother that I'm fine, okay? Go back where? Go my nightmare. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to. I want something chilled. Does this place look like a restaurant? I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to. You. you can go join him for school. Mom, uh, are you sure you don't want to come with us? It's okay. Alright, I'll be fine. Just go and join him. You look beautiful, my love. Hi, Mom. Love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, love you too, dear. Broken and trodden, drowning in the ocean of pain. Daddy! Hey, yeah. My baby girl! Mm. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Fine. Yeah, you're looking great. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> All right. That's my baby girl. I was wrong. It's been a long, long time coming. Just in the nigga time, I see an angel sent for me. And then I realize this must be destiny for real, you and me. Daddy. Yes, baby. Are you having problems with me? Why did you ask? Because she refused to ride you to us. Is there a problem? It's not naturally. Yes. Yes? Baby girl. I don't just want to hide some things from you. Um, let me pull over. Um, you see, baby girl, to be honest with you, the truth is, 
your mother and I are incompatible. I don't want the marriage anymore. Daddy. Um, baby girl, I don't want to be unhappy for the rest of my life, okay? Are you saying that mom brings you nothing but sadness? Oh, yes! Your mother is troublesome. She's violent. She insults and humiliates me at any slightest provocation. I, I, I just wish you don't end up to be like her. Is it that bad? It is. It is. I don't want to ever share the same roof with her anymore. Uh, you also say you're going to leave me. I can never do that. Never. You're my daughter. My beloved daughter. My life. Uh, I know I won't be staying with you guys in the same house, but I will be coming time to time you know, to check on you. But you guys just walked in south. <sighs> It is late, baby girl. I have made up my mind. Okay? That it needs to be a life for you. All right? Do you want your... If I continue staying with that, that's your mother, I might die. Do you, do you want to lose your daddy? I know she, she must have been telling you, you know, horrible things about me. But baby girl, see, pay no attention to, to all that. Okay? Just promise me you always be a good girl. Uh, well, I will make sure you grow up to be a virtuous and respectable woman. All right? Come on, stop crying, baby girl. Okay? Come on, stop. Stop crying. All right? Everything will be fine. No, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll talk about it more when we get home. Okay? We'll talk more about it. Um, but before then, let me go get you ice cream and pizza, all right? Come on, smile for them. Come on, baby. Give your stuff, go out, all right? Mom. Is it true? Yes, he left. Mom, but what did you do to him? I can't say. You know, I tried. But why didn't he stay? I thought he loved us. Yes. He does. I, I know. But... Yet he left without batting an eyelid. Uma, please, who would live through this? Mom, but I feel so broken. No, you don't have to. I'm not dead. I'm still here for you. Mom, just tell me the truth. What did you do to him? What did he tell you? I did nothing to your father. All I did was love, support, and try to mend our irreconcilable differences. That's the truth. Believe me, Ma. Come here. How did you break the news to Uma? I didn't. She already knew before I saw my courage to even tell her. A child of mine. He's such a smart kid. Olisa oh, told her? Yes. She was distraught. I knew she broke down because she disappeared to God knows when for hours and only came back later. No one to pet her, play with her, or even drive her to school. Lisa doesn't come back again. He does. Whenever he pleases. Maybe once or twice in a week. And the worst of all, he has started telling Ma terrible things about me. 
Anna, don't you think you and your daughter should get away from this place for some time? There are too many memories in this house. You don't have to cry for a man who decided to give adultery a spin. No. I will not cry for Ulisa. I already did when he slept with my cousin. And now this. This time, and this divorce, I'm saying yes to it. Men. Men are a bunch of commitment foes. And Ulisa is the absolute worst of them all. Broken and trodden, drowning in the ocean of pain. Weakened and vision, somehow it'll all go away. God, I am so lost, so broken. I am so confused. What did I ever do to deserve this? Trapped in your tenderness, loving this feeling that you bring. A look in your eyes, I see a longing for something beautiful. Just like the stars, you light up my world, and I cannot imagine how it happened so quick, you and me. Wow. Oh, you forgot to listen, my car. Oh, I did? Thank you. Thank you so much. I've, I've been looking everywhere for you. I didn't even know I forgot to in your cab. That's okay. Thank you so very much. I'm grateful. Um, I need to get you something for the trouble. Uh, okay, okay, so. Aji, I'll get it <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, what it means is you shouldn't worry. Okay, I just, I just did this. Wait, you mean you don't want anything? You're mm. definitely not an Abuja boy. I live in Abuja, but I'm a corner to them. Oh. <laughs> well, one thing is for sure, and that's the fact that you're a very good person. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really grateful. Thank you, Mom. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. A look in your eyes, I see a longing Something beautiful Just like the stars You light up the world And I cannot imagine How it happened so quick You and me Is this love actually Can believe Is this love actually um. Hi again. Uh, hi, madam. Do you have a card? Uh, yes, I do. This is it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, open the gate. Cause I wanna know, is this I'm love actually really sorry for all that's happening now. It's been a very trying period for all of us. I think I need a change of scenery. So guess what? 
I'm going to learn to drive. I'll get my license and then I start taking it to school. I don't want you to miss out on anything. And I don't want you to lag behind on anything. Okay? Okay, Ma. You... You miss your dad, right? I really do. Just if you guys can come back together. But I see have you. I believe in you. You have been quite strong for a while now. Not for not breaking down. I believe in you too, my dear. And I strongly believe that we will weather this storm together. And we'll come out stronger. Hello? Uh, yes, I'm free. Ah, good afternoon, Mom. Okay, Mom. I'll be there in the GIF. I'm on my way. Okay, Mom. Go show a Oh, oh my God! Please, please come in. Okay, mum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, yeah. Please uh, sit. It's fine, mum. So about the driving lessons, I completely forgot. All right. Anyways, I don't, I don't think I want to do that anymore. Why, ma? What happened? Um, you know, don't worry about it. Just, uh, I'll pay you for today, right? But I can't do that. Huh? Ma, you don't need to pay me. Please, can I ask for one favor from you? Well, of course. Ma, please, I want you to follow me to my car. I just want you to sit maybe by the driver's side, so that you can start having that connection. Um, I sort of... I have some work upstairs, so I, I think we can do that. Ma, I insist. I insist. I, you know, my second name is Persuasion. So I insist you follow me. So I am supposed to bow to this persuasion obsession that you have going on? Mom, 
No, I'm not saying that, okay? But all, all I'm just saying is learning how to drive or knowing how to drive is a lifetime achievement. But it's fine if you really don't want to do this. So I have to go now. Thank you. I look in your eyes, I see a longing for something beautiful. Something beautiful. Just like the stars, you light up my world. And I cannot imagine how it happened so quick, you and me. All right. So now, the first rule immediately you get into the car is to start the engine. So you can turn it, turn it on. Look at it, just turn it on. And the second position where you need to concentrate on is your three mirrors. The one on top of you, the right one, and the left one. This just looks all too complicated for me. I, I can't do this. It's not complicated. You can do it. I can't do it. You, just... you can do it. Do you have any experiences that you want to share? So, start the car. Okay. You can do it. I promise you, you can do it. Okay? Do you, do you have any past experience? I look in your eyes. I see a longing for something beautiful. Something beautiful. Just like the stars, you light up my world. And I cannot imagine how it happens. Yeah, I can. Well, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> let me explain to you. I got a new client today. Uh, how are they? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Good luck. What's the Mark is so wrong. She's so afraid. I don't know why. Why? I'm telling you, I think she's afraid of staring. She has never driven all her life. And I think uh, one of the major reasons why she's afraid is because she lost both parents in an accident. Oh, yeah. Mm. Don't I but she's not supposed to be worried. Yeah, I think one of our major worries is because of she's having marriage crisis. And okay. I think the thing is just the bra is too much for her to bear. <laughs> so I can even imagine. Mm, but mm. I can watch the that I'm worrying is one of two million ways to die in this city of Abuja. Okay, I can't have any city of Abuja. So, you're hiking. You're coming to pocket chicken in my age. I'm coming in. 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 Let us ask you, do you like a In short, I'm not supposed to be holding this. Hold oh, this cabin. Uh, madam, you can actually do it. I promise you, you can do it. To be honest, I don't think I should because my ex-husband can drive and I was only going to lend this for my daughter to drive her to school. It's looking so difficult. It's not difficult. Nothing is difficult, okay? So, I think when I was staying with my mom, when she would insist and insist and insist, I need to learn how to cook. But I would see it like it's a normal thing because I was staying with my mom, so I'm getting everything on a platter of gold. Now I'm staying alone. I just have to eat anything. The way I cook it, that's how I eat it. I have no option. So, you see, in life, you just need to keep learning anything that comes your way. Make sure you learn it and make sure because there will be time that you will need it. There is advantage of anything about process of life. And learning car is one of the major achievements in process of life. So I promise you, madam, you can do this. So the major thing you need to learn now is to remove fear. If you can remove fear from your heart, you can achieve it. So can we do this? Sure. Yes, and then before I forget, make sure if you're driving, don't look back. Your concentration should be forward always. You need to keep looking straight forward. Forget about who is driving behind you and make sure you're always using your side mirrors. The one on your left, the one on your right, and this one 
is what you use to see who is coming behind you. You don't need to turn. So if they're on, forget about them. Don't eat anybody, let them eat you. Because if you eat anybody, you are at fault. But if they eat you, they are at fault. Okay? So can we do this now? I'll, I'll try. Okay, so start the car. Bef before you start the car, you need to put your leg on the brake pad. That's the, the middle one. Okay. Press it down. Press it with energy. Now you can start the car now. What do you mean you can't afford a travel plan? I thought you said you loved me and you want to spend the rest of your life with me. Is this what forever is going to be with you? No, God forbid. Uh, baby, baby, please calm down, all right? Just, just take it, give me some time, please. Time? Did you just say time? Do you think I have time? You promised me heaven on earth. And just the first demand I'm making, you're giving me cock and bull story, Olisa. Really? Can you just listen? Baby, can you just listen? Can you hear me out? I invested my money in some businesses and they haven't paid off. The little I have now is for settling hotel bills. Then ask your wife. She's a rich and influential novelist. Didn't you have prenup with her? I thought you said she had properties all over. Sell them. Oh, you think I'm going to have my babies in this hotel? Oh, please. It's high time I took my place in your house. And that's on period. Why is that useless woman, that good for nothing woman? Where's that ingrate? Nonsense. Where is she? Oh. Very good morning. Yeah, my baby girl, how are you doing? Very nice. What are you doing here? We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I see what you're thinking. Ma, my darling, please go upstairs to your room. All right, mom. Come on, baby girl. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later, okay? Mm. Easy, all right? Mm -hmm. 
I want some money. Three, four million naira. Really? And you want it from me? Oh, yes. Why are you so shameless? <sighs> See, madam, I am not here for what play. All right? Maybe you could go up there and sign a check. Or what? Mm, or what? We had a prenup, remember? And you broke the fidelity clause, remember? Do you have a proof? Do you? No, tell me. See, everything you think you have was bought under my name, including this house. I can contest it in court. You can contest nothing in court. Oh, you think so? Use your senses. But as by the way, I will also file for the custody of my daughter. Yes. Well, let me get my luggage. Listen, I give you one week. One week. You hear from my lawyer this afternoon. Nonsense. See, I don't even know what to do. Yeah, like I've been so confused. I don't. I know. It's really crazy. You know what? Let me call you back. So, shall we? Yeah. Ma, I was here yesterday and I knocked at your door and I called you and called you. You didn't pick your call. Is everything okay? I was busy. I couldn't take calls. Oh, is everything okay? I wish. I was still trying to go through the divorce proceedings. I can imagine. And I know it must be tough on you. Yes. Tough because I married a man who never loved me. Tough because he wants to strip me of everything I've ever worked so hard for. Even tougher 
because he doesn't care one bit about his daughter. I understand perfectly well. But I think you really need to hold it down. Inshallah, everything is going to be all right. Are you married? N no. I wouldn't say I'm married, but... Why did you ask? Because you just need to be very careful on that lane. Marriage does strange things to people. I'll never understand why a woman has to sacrifice all her dreams, her ambitions, her goals on the altar of marriage to an insecure, egoistic and lazy man. It'll never make sense to me. Ma, I insist that you should take it easy. Inshallah, everything will be all right. <laughs> I'll try. So shall we? Yes. Lost in the wilderness, but I can't believe you found me. Be careful. Concentrate. Okay, the green light is on now. You can go. The green light. You can move. Let's go. <laughs> what did you do? I'm sorry. Did you know? What did you do? Uh, what's the meaning of this nonsense now? Okay. No, no, no. I, I, oh no. Why are you begging now? What's the meaning? You tell my car. Tell me. You're going to kill you. What's the meaning of this nonsense now? You tell my car. Tell me. Mistake is which mistake? Okay. Yeah. No, which mistake? Is this why you to down, down to physical? Hey, is this why you down to physical? Sir, please, Sir, please, please what? Go inside. Go inside here. Come on, wait. Come on, Go inside which car? Eh? Guy. Eh? Go inside which car? Guy. Guy, stop. Is everything okay? Please, is it possible for you to wear your seatbelt? Okay. But is, is everything okay? Does everything look okay? Is everything supposed to look okay? You almost got us mopped. Okay. I'll... I'll pay for this dress. I don't collect money. That's not me. I don't collect my clients' money. All I'm just saying is, please, ma, you need to take concentration. If you're driving, if you're learning how to drive, you need to concentrate. Just follow the simple instructions. Either you drive or you stop. You know, but my, my man just went somewhere for a split second. That, that was all. That split second can cost you your life. Please, ma, you really need to concentrate. Look, I was thinking, okay, I'm an intellectual, in case you didn't know that. It's okay. But all I'm just saying is that whatever that you're thinking or you're passing through, please, you need total concentration. Just look straight forward and concentrate. Anything that is disturbing you, ma, just let it be, let it go. Okay? Please. Thank you. I, I understand. I hey, understand. Let me just drive you home. Broken and trodden, drowning in the ocean of pain. Waking and vision, somehow it'll all go away. I give my all, but it I shot it, Akira. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Is she coming anytime soon? Uh, I really don't know. Maybe. 
maybe not it's like how about the muda zuan tabans why game akaka i just know i it's obvious i yeah are you really sure you're ready for this is this what you want some you know, i i trust adisa our sister i trust her so much and she's one trying to arrange all this i'm okay with it you know but i would just give it a trial if it didn't work then i'll find a solution to my problem like again well it's very bad that you don't understand women but what's worse is you don't even understand yourself or what you want ya kamata ka san me kake su gaskiya na gudi thank you you're welcome but you really need to think ahead now tell me just me about what it You look so beautiful. Really? Mhm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Please. I just have one question to ask you, okay? Okay. What is it? What is the perfect gift to get for a, a woman? Beautiful, mm. lovely woman. <laughs> oh, that's a bit complicated because in my time, flowers, candies, chocolates, all of that would just be perfect. Right, but these days maybe a Mercedes or a Bentley or a nice house in Lily Gates Estates would just be nice. Okay. But I'm a simple girl, and for me, the most important things in life are simple. So just a nice book of poetry would be perfect. Do you know him? Uh, I was raising hand for you, so yeah. I, but it's okay. okay. It's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um my husband used to give me that on our first anniversary and on every other anniversary after that he would lay his head on my lap and ask me to read out some love poems to him that was a perfect gift it's okay what what about you rago what's what's the perfect present for you I think it's time for us to go. Oh, sure. Thank you. Uh. Dear diary, I'm here once again to to vent. <laughs> yes, I I think I'm in love. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I I think love has found me. Though many would say that he's of lower income. But he's all right, I guess. <laughs> no, not just all right. He's enough. But what if he doesn't feel the same way? What if this is only an imaginary castle in my head? like he's my spirit twin but his eyes oh let's not even talk about that plus he sees life from my perspective well i don't care because i have enough love for the both of us oh come on anna isn't this what they call a rebound Good help me. Lost in the wilderness, but I can't believe you found me. No, no, no. Trapped in your tenderness, love in the feeling that you
Welcome to my environment, my area. Wow. Are you sorry? You shouldn't go to your house. You want to go to my house? Sounds like a good idea to me. It's going to be a long journey. Because <laughs> the road is not good. Um, I'm already strapped, ready for the bump. You are ready? Because <laughs> the road is very bad. Sounds like I need to brace up. You ready for the bumpy ride? Right? Let's go. <laughs> ready for this. Sorry, sorry. Wow. The road. Salamu alaikum. Please. Welcome to my humble abode. Wow. <laughs> Such a nice place. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. Bismillah. Yeah, Good evening. Good evening. My younger brother, Usman. Oh, you guys actually look alike. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Um, anyways, so something popped in my head while we were driving here. Okay. And I thought to talk to you about it. So, I was thinking of ways that I could help you, you know, establish your driving school even more. And just take it to, um, Another point, like maybe adding some technicalities, adding, you know, some more cars. I just believe there's more that you can do with it, more than you're already doing. So we could take it to another level. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to you I'm going to you Sorry. What went wrong? What did he say? Nothing. He said, you are beautiful and nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Usman. You thought this was like a nice person. Um, do you mind coming in for some food? Yeah, come have a meal with me. Let's go. You like it? So much. It's so delicious. Don't think I've eaten anything as good and delicious as this before. <laughs> Don't worry, you can still take away of it when you're leaving if you want. Thank you. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, eat up this. Uh, um, welcome. It's fine, thank you. There's one glass for you. Thank you. And the other for me. Uh -huh. So we're going to have some nice wine. Uh -huh. 
Right. Uh, is this for me? I mean, yes. So we're about to have some really nice wine. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't do alcohol. Oh, you don't. Oh, my bad. I should have asked. But um, I do, and I hope you don't mind. Uh, it's fine. Uh, please go. Alright then, let me get you something else to drink. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you know when you're trying everything that you can, but it just seems like you're invisible. Feels like you're not good enough no matter what you do. Feels like there's just some cloud covering you and he just doesn't think you can ever do anything right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Never be good enough. Uh, I just, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know what to do. But uh, uh, this is enough, okay? You don't need to, uh, you've taken enough. Okay? It's okay. Everything's going to be all right. I think you really need to go upstairs now, okay? I don't know what to do. Uh, it's, get, it's actually getting a little bit. You want to leave? Uh, yes, I really need to leave. It's getting late. No. Please, stay. Don't leave. Please. I don't want to be alone. My daughter is really upset with me. Why? She thinks I had something to do with you. Who's the like? I'm very sorry. I don't know what came over me last night. I, I slept off. No, no, no. It's not your fault. Okay? I was drunk and I was the one who stopped you when you wanted to leave. It's none of your fault at all. I just... I just hope she doesn't tell her father. Anything. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Imagine! See the kind of a mother you have! So loose and promiscuous! Eh? If she has your interests at heart, will she ever bring a man in the same house she lives with her only daughter? Or get me? Imagine, shameless woman. Huh? You are romancing a man before your daughter. What useless romance? See, don't be like your mother. Don't be, you've seen it all. Don't be like your mother. Huh? I knew it. 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 Eh? Nonsense. Hmm. So Uma told me there's a certain man who frequents this house, but your best friend is not in the know. Oh, wait, do. How come you're still keeping things away from me? See, it's really nothing serious, okay? It's not like it's an actual date or anything like that. Hmm. Then what is it? A bedmate? He's my driving instructor. His name is Rago. Driving instructor? How can that be? Look, Grace, I'm not even going to lie. He's such a good person. And we kind of clicked, but not in that earthy type of way. He 
Kabu Kabu man. A driving instructor, Gracie. Is that so difficult? A driving instructor. Go upstairs. Pack all your things you're going with me. All right? Excuse you? No, no, no. You're well excused. You're well excused. <laughs> Port calling girls with Why do you think you're taking my daughter to me? Ma, don't move. Don't move an inch. Why do you think you're taking my Set daughter to me? Self-help, of course. Where she wouldn't have to experience you sleeping and, and, and shagging your dri driving instructor. What you instructor about the hill? Eh? You want to turn my daughter into something else? It will not happen. Not my daughter. Olisa, <laughs> please calm down. Mama, 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 no such thing. And I won't have you lie against me like this. Liar! You have failed as a mother. If you like, you turn her into a child or a sex marathon cottage. I don't care. Not while my daughter is living in this house. My daughter is going nowhere with you. Oh. Okay? Really? See, you can keep your numerous girls for all I care. But just make sure that you leave my daughter out of it. If you touch me again, I will blow this up. I do not care. Do I look like I care? Hey, camera. Do I look like huh? I care, Olisa? Wait, Papa, I will deal with you. I'm so ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you, Olisa. I'm look very ashamed you. of you as well. I, well, I, I, I'm, not, God, I'm, I'm not even jealous. I'm not even jealous. You can't be jealous. You can't even enjoy anything. Yeah, I, I know. So boring. My daughter is going nowhere. That's what oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Mama, Mama, where are you? Where are you? Mama, where are you? Mama. Sorry, my baby. <laughs> Olisa, you are such a stupid man. So you went to bring your daughter from that house to this hotel. For what? You want me to go and be taking care of another woman's daughter when my own is almost here? Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you making a mountain out of a molehill? She's your stepdaughter. I'm not interested. I need privacy. This bed cannot contain three people. I am pregnant and I don't want anybody to suffocate my baby because of money management. You're being harsh on my daughter. I thought you said you loved me. And so? Is my call of love for you a conference call? Really? You're rejecting my daughter? Please, eh? If I'm going to accept your daughter, you have to move us to a fine service apartment. Okay? There is problem. There is problem. I can see that you are so comfortable driving now. Thanks. You are silent. You are not talking today. What's the problem? Just um, focus. Let's see. Anyway, if we get to the shopping plaza down there, please, I want to pick up someone. Uh, okay, and who is someone? It's Aisha. She's my wife to be. Actually, I, I've not met her though. I was living in a village close by, so I told her to come out to the shopping center so that I can pick it out. You, you have a wife to be? Did you just say you've not met her? Uh, yes, I've not met her before. She was arranged by my sister in the village. 
My sister arranged her so that I can get married to her. Okay then, um, please just let me drop off at my house. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's totally fine. Please drop me first. with a very fine man. <laughs> I told my friends, me, Muna and Halima, that my husband will be finer than theirs. <laughs> now go the Alami. <laughs> Salam. Yeah, Kaido. Look at this one. Ah! Kira me, Gina. We're going to have a lot of kids here. <laughs> That's what? Me, Gina. How many children are we going to have? <laughs> yes. Huh? We're going to have five children. I'll name the first one. I'll name the second one, Yakuru. <laughs> I will name the third one, Usman. I will name the fourth one, Sanusi. <laughs> and I will name the fifth one, Danladi. <laughs> hey, is that my room? Regina, na se kuli kuli da kili shi. Kanya bichka ugugwa. Ugugwa, iya ugugwa. Majina, bora nje nkar ukuli ukuli da kili shi. Yes, baby girl. Why does your friend hate me so much? Um, why are you talking like that? She does not hate you. Of course she does. Last time I heard her saying that she could not share space with you. Um, come baby girl, sit, she does not hate you, right? Besides, you know how these pregnant women behave, they complain a lot, they nag a lot, okay? 
she does not hate you. Can I ask you a question, Daddy? Okay, blonde baby girl. Why are you condemning mom for bringing a man into the house while you are staying with a woman? Auntie Queen. Auntie Queen. I'm done. I'm really hungry. I needed to loosen my braids. Auntie Queen, I'm having continuous assessment tests today. And I have to be in school early. When I come back, I'll do it for you. Excuse you? Are you conditioning me to your own time? Are you mad? Auntie Queen, I just told you that I'm almost late for school. When I come back, I'll help you loosen your braids. Such impudence. What's going on here? You need to inculcate some respect into your daughter's skull. It's you that needs to see a shrink. Why are you so wicked? Mm -hmm. You slapped me because I said I'm already running late for school. What? And I cannot lose your brace for you. Wait. Why do you slap my daughter? Is that right? Daddy, in fact, I can't stay here anymore. I've seen hell in my few days of staying here. After school today, I want to meet my mom. My mom cannot treat me this way or let anyone treat me like garbage. She's not that woman. She's looking like a juju calabar. So, this lizard. My friend, wait, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, This lizard called me a juju calabar. And her family, who is supposed to be my man friend, my foolish man friend, is here moping foolishly. Okay. No wahala. We shall see. Ha! Ah! <sighs> ha! Broken and trodden, drowning in the ocean of pain. Weakened and wishing somehow it'll all go away. Uh, I gave my all, but it was taken for nothing. No, 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 I should stop it. Not today, not now. This Aram, and you know it. Let's get married first, please. Then Allah. Okay, if we can do this. I'm your wife. I can do anything you want me to do. Aisha, please. Hold on a little bit first. Please. In the wilderness, <coughs> I can't believe you found me. No, no, no. Trapped in your tenderness, loving this feeling that you bring. Oh, I love this Just go inside. There's money inside the wardrobe. Okay, just go and help us and get bread and see. Let's take it. Please, Dalla. Kaji, be fast about it quick before she comes out. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
This will not work. What? I'm not in the mood, Wallahi. I'm not in the mood, Kimchi. I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood. Have you ever been? Mutumu Banza. Aisha, don't you ever call me that again. That's what you are. Waka Shege Damburuba. Who's been like? Who's been like? Aisha! Weekend and we share somehow it all go away. I give my all, but it was taken for nothing. I was wrong. It's been a long, long time coming. <laughs> Just in the nigga time, I see a nigga. Mom. Ma. Hi. I'm fine. How are you doing? Fine, but you're not. I am. I am. Very thin. Mom, I deserve to be happy. Is it the beard man or is it me that made you? Unhappy. I'm sorry. I'll not leave you again. It's not you, baby girl. Okay. You did nothing. I'm just so happy to have you back in my arms. You deserve to be happy. If dad couldn't, if anyone else can, I'm in support of it. I'm sorry. I thought you would make decisions that would affect me. Thank you. Okay, but... Rago is just my friend. No strings attached. Okay, he's just mommy's friend. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Mom, you deserve to be happy. Of course you deserve to be happy. I know, but... What, what? You think the world is going to come at you for falling in love with a Kabu Kabu driver? Gracie, for the obtainth time, he is not a Kabu Kabu driver. He's a driving instructor. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, it means that he's an instructor in a driving school. Okay? You see, Anna, all that matters is happiness. Everything has its own fragility index, even love. But he's, he's not in love with me. As a matter of fact, he already has a wife to be arranged for him by his sister in the north. Ooh, as we speak, they're probably together. So this castle I'm building in my head will just probably never come to life. Never say never. You know what? Get up. We're going upstairs and getting you dressed for the movies. Oh, my lady. Definitely not romance. Romance it is. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh my God. <laughs> Aisha, what is this? What is this, Aisha? Why you alana? Ah! Kai! Um, 
You wasted so much time in punishing me. Punishing you? How so? You've not been picking my calls. And you have not been coming for your classes. Well, I was only giving you time to enjoy your new life. Well, how is she though? Do not love you. She's just there. Anyway, I'm here to tell you that today is your test. And the examiner is there waiting for you so that you can be able to drive comfortably on the road. First, I have to get to be ready. I'm ready. So shall we? Of course. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Impressive. Impressive. Wow. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for being a good instructor. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for being a good listener and a good student. <laughs> I'm grateful. It's all right. Okay, thank I, you, sir. I think, I think this call for celebration. Okay, let's go have a drink somewhere. I think you will drive us there. Yes. <laughs> it will be my absolute pleasure. Oh, please. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Instructor, you want to follow us again? We can and we share. Somehow it will all go away. I give my all, but it was taken for nothing. I was wrong, it's been a long, long time coming. Just in the nick of time, I see an angel sent for me. And then I realized this must be destiny for real, you and me. Yeah, yeah. Lost in the wilderness, but I can't believe you found me. No, no, no. Trapped in your tenderness, loving this feeling that you bring. Oh, I love this feeling. A look in your eyes, I see a longing for something beautiful. <sighs> Just like the stars, you light up my world, and I cannot imagine how it happened so quick. You and me, you and me. Is this my sister? I'm just patching things all over here, my dear. Life is not a bed of roses, though. I thought that stupid Olisa was rich. I left all my big, big men friends to come and be with a drowning man. God forbid that me, Queen Darlene, will be with such a man. <laughs> We all know the baby I'm carrying is not his. What? What? Why are you shouting? What is it? 
You! Me what? So it has been a well orchestrated deception all along. What are you talking about? What deception? Mother, will you shut up? Shut up, shut up, shut up! I don't know what you're saying, no. Now tell me, who is responsible for this pregnancy? What are you even saying? What did you hear? So you want to ruin me and keep me dumb? I don't know what you're talking about. Who is responsible? Trapped in your tenderness, loving this feeling that you bring. So, I guess this is where we say goodbye. I guess I won't be seeing you again. Thank you for everything. This will lie. Bye, yeah. What up? What? Oh. What about Aisha? She's not. She's not home. I think she left this for you. Oh. You look tired. I don't know. I said that to you. I have to do it last. I said that to you. I said, 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 I um, there's no car yet, my baby. When are you planning to buy a car? I'm thinking probably by the weekend. Can't you? <laughs> me too. So, should I choose your color for it? Uh, no, let me do that. Okay, let me call Rago. Uh, I'm sure you love whatever I pick, though. Oh my God, so many nice Land Cruiser, the latest one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, so, look at this, this will fit you very well. Yes, I like it. Not bad at all. Oh, you but I like this? SUVs. Oh, really? So, Let's, yeah. check oh. Let's check this then. This looks nice. Yes. Wow. Wow. The inside is new. Wow. Oh, I love this one. Really? The interior is so good. Yeah. Perfect. 
Wow. Ooh, wow. Old. You know what? What? I think I'll just go with this one. Look I at like. you. You like good things. <laughs> of course. Can you say that again? It looks so nice. Yes. And it would look good on me. What I is can it? Say it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so who is purchasing? Kaipo Matanka. Matata. Wow. All right. What is your Matanka? It's here, my gentleman. Wait. What are you doing here? You haven't told her. Stop. Ah, how about you? <laughs> this is one of his establishments. Wait, one second. Are you serious? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Tell me, who are you? So all this while you have been listening to me and you understand perfectly well everything I've been saying? And all this while, you never told me that you had anything like this place. Okay. I think it's time for both of us to go somewhere, sit and have a drink and discuss. Sure. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? <laughs> Let's sit. Gaskia. <sighs> yeah, now you don't have to take what father said to heart. In a tired care come on. I support you on this and I don't support him trying to match make you with the governor's daughter. Exactly my point. Because I would not do anything out of my own wish for any useless political reasons. I wouldn't do that. I won't accept that. I have my life to live. And he can never force me to live his own life. That will not work. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. All I need to do now is to make him understand that I have my own life to live and I would pick my own woman at my own convenience. I want a proper woman that would take care of my children, that my children will look at and call her mom. Not all these political rich men children that are all spoiled brats. That's my man. <laughs> so tell me, how about your girlfriend, Zubaida, the girl in the US that you're mm. telling me about? Well, that's a long story. Okay. Uh, oh, Adiza is calling. Let me pick up. This is a secret talk between <laughs> me and Adiza. DJ? <laughs> um, so you mean that's why Hadiza arranged Aisha for you? Exactly. I'm so sorry about Aisha, though. It's okay. Man, it was never meant to be. I understand. Even though Aisha, she's a wonderful woman. 
but wish her all the best in life. We should find a perfect man for herself. Don't worry, dear. You will get over it with time. The time is now. I've been looking for this opportunity all this while to tell you that I've been looking for a beautiful, mature, intelligent, understanding woman like you to be in my life. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Even though I don't have a ring here with me to propose to you, please marry me. Um, you know, I just got out of a broken marriage, so I, I really would like to take my time. Okay, probably if you can wait. It's okay. I will wait for you. You will? I will. Cheers. Cheers. Gracie, my darling. You didn't show up in court today. We had such a field day in court. Yeah, and I won. <laughs> I know. I get to keep all my properties. <laughs> I still wish Alyssa well. And from time to time, he can come see Ma. Oh, I know. Well, the good thing is, now I can drive anywhere I want, even outside Abuja. Oh, Rago. <laughs> Rago is fine. No Wahala. <laughs> All right. Bye, love. Ooh. Cheers to life.